In this video, we will install WordPress on cPanel server. Currently, this site have no files, so it is showing directory listing. We need to log into cPanel of this domain name. For that, enter domain slash cPanel. Now you need to enter the username password to log into cPanel. To install WordPress, you need to search for WordPress. WordPress manager is old way of installing and managing WordPress. WordPress toolkit is the new method. So you should be using WordPress toolkit if that is available. This will be removed from cPanel in future versions. So click on uh, WordPress toolkit. Click on install WordPress. Here you have HTTP and HTTPS option. Select HTTPS. Uh, if you access a site using SSL, this will be the default. Uh, these days, uh, Google recommend all site need to have SSL installed. Uh, on this server, we have SSL, so select HTTPS. This is installation path. If you need the WordPress installed as folder, like a blog, you can enter the folder here. In this case, I need the website, uh, WordPress installed on main domain. That is, if you enter the domain name wp.serverrocket.in, I want the website shown. Next, you need to enter title for your website. You can enter whatever title you wish. After the installation, you will be able to change this plugin and themes. You can select some plugins themes here. I don't select any anything now because we should be able to install whatever theme plugin after login to WP admin area. Uh, language English version is the latest. Then it will show auto generated username and password here. We need to copy and keep this safe so that we sh we can log into WP admin after the installation. Uh, here you need to enter the email address. These two settings, database automatic update settings. You can modify this if you want, otherwise keep it empty for now. It will auto update them. By default, it will auto update a WordPress security updates. Uh, if you want to enable plugin updates, you can enable it here. Install. Click on install. This will take some time for the installation. You can click on show details to see what it is doing. Now the installation is finished. We have an, uh, it will show an option to install plugins, uh, plugin install screen. Here you will see all the available themes. If you want to install, uh, you can install the theme here. I am not installing anything now, so closing this. Minimize. So we have the WordPress details here. Okay, you have the option to log into WordPress from here. Click on this login or you can use the previous 
uh, username and password we have copied. Click on login. Okay, we, we are logged into WordPress. Let us go to the home page of the website. Okay, this is the WordPress uh, home page. If you need to change in, uh, the look and feel, you can go to appearance themes. then click on add new then install a theme from here let's say we install this theme to install click on install now go to the themes you will see the install the theme this is the newly installed theme. You can click on this activate button to make this theme active. Okay, this is now the active theme. That means your website will be using this theme. Go to the website homepage, refresh. You will see the website using the new theme. That's all for the WordPress installation.